you're looking at a Hayward Aquarite salt generator for a pool. And what you'll notice is red usually means bad. So it says no flow. You can see where the uh, selectors on auto got the percent right around 70, but you have a zero. You do have a green light with power. And as you can hear, the pump is on. So what's the problem? And over here, you have your sensor. So this wire goes into the bottom of that box. And then this sensor right here is what triggers as the flow of water comes through, whether or not this is gonna generate salt once it comes through the cell. Now, keep in mind, um, I've, this is clean. So the first thing you need to do is take this off and make sure this is not clogged. I've, tr I've done that, I've checked my valves, Again, you can hear the pump running and I could not figure out what the problem was until I took this out and I'm going to show you what the issue is and why we are going to replace it with a brand new one. Okay, so all I did was unscrew this and this is the brand new one. I'll leave a link down below. This is uh, this $50. I do recommend all the reviews say buy the Hayward branded product. So if you look at it and you line these up next to each other, what's missing? Whoops. So as you can see, what's missing is this right here. This is a sensor, a f I think it's called the flow switch, that when the pre water pressure pushes this down, it then trigger triggers the signal through this to go to the chlorinator box to activate the, the salt, essentially. This one, uh, I would say it's probably two years old, roughly, but you will notice <laughs> there is no flow switch. It's gone. Uh, the interesting thing is, is when I cleaned this out, I did not find this, so I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my pump, but I can't do anything about that. I'm not going to start cutting PVC, so all I'm going to do is replace it with this. Make sure you use your Teflon tape on your threads. And then the important thing with this is that you have to make sure that the flow, so the, 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 the direction of the water is the, what I'll describe it as the flow. Whenever you screw this down into your pipe, you wanna make sure if the, if the water's going this way, that that is the direction that you finish with uh, threading this. So what I did, you can kind of see it, it, it was black. So I, I, I basically took a, a dark marker and I colored as much as I could the side. So this side, if you wanna call it that, where I wanna make sure the water flow is, is entering. All right, so screw this in. Make sure, as you can see, there is an arrow. I forgot to show you that right here. That shows the direction of the water flowing. So the water on this is going to come through here, this direction and then back out to the pool this way. So I wanna make sure that the arrow is pointing towards the direction the water's gonna go. Now you can come over to your box and just install this other end. This is where the signal comes through. Um, it's your, your old school, what I call telephone uh, wire. And again, it just goes into the bottom of the box. All right, so the power's back on. You can tell that the no flow light has now stopped uh, showing red. Not surprising at all. Uh, the check salt and inspect the cell light comes on. So I'm gonna let it run for probably 30 or 45 minutes and I'll come back and check it. But clearly now we have flow again, which is exactly what you're looking for. This has been broken for probably two weeks, maybe even longer, honestly and I am probably gonna have to add a couple bags of salt, get it back up to about 3,000, hope that helps.